Hi guys, this is my first YouTube video and uh, today I'm just, talking, I'm just talking about JDBC. JDBC is a vast subject but I'm just taking a little topic, a subtopic of JDBC is that type of JDBC drivers. Okay, so first thing is ki what is JDBC? JDBC is a Java based data access technology and uh, this is connect to our java application to database software but without any support we can't do that so that's why we are using jdbc drivers okay so jdbc drivers are nothing but a software component and it provides implementation of jdbc api so this is the jdbc driver and we have four type of jdbc driver First JDBC driver is this is JDBC ODBC bridge driver because it's it's work like bridge between Java application and database software. So in this JDBC driver, we have mainly three components. Three components are JDBC driver, second is OJDBC driver, and third is native library. So when we uh, when we connect our Java application to database, so we have to use three components. These are JDBC driver, OJDBC driver, and native API. Because of in uh, type one JDBC driver, we can't uh, directly connect to database. Our JDBC driver can't connect to directly database. That's why we are using ODBC driver, and. Uh, this type one uh, data uh, driver, database uh, JDBC driver, is a platform independent. So, this single driver can interact with any database software. But advantage is that ki it can interact with any database software. But uh, disadvantage is also there because of uh, type one JDBC driver, we are using multiple components. So definitely performance issue can and uh, in our Java application, if it's taking time, then it's bad for our programming. So that's why type 2 JDBC driver came into the picture and type 2 JDBC driver. And this is all type of JDBC driver are different from each other based on architecture. Architecture is matters in drivers. Because of the first driver, we are using three components, JDBC, OJDBC and native libraries. But uh, in type 2 JDBC driver, this is called native API driver. So, it's the type 2 JDBC driver. Uh, in this driver, we are removing OJDBC driver and we are just using two components. JDBC driver, our native API, which is directly uh, directly connect with native uh, our native libraries and first thing is what is native library native library is nothing but this is create and uh, developed in c and c plus plus language and c and c plus plus language these are platform dependent that's why our type 2 jdbc driver are also platform dependent and uh, advantage is also there and disadvantage is also advantage is that here we are using only two components that's why performance is high compared to type 1 jdbc driver but disadvantage is there it's a platform dependent and uh, it's not good for large and medium scale applications so that's why type 3 jdbc driver came and type 3 jdbc driver is different to type 1 and type 2 Type 1 and Type 2 is our, these are thick JDBC driver because too much layer are there now and uh, Type 3 JDBC driver, driver architecture too much change because main thing is that we are not using in Type 3 JDBC driver we are not using OJDBC driver and we are not using native libraries also. Here we are directly connect with web server or proxy server. So what are the use of this web server? So our JDBC driver directly connect with the web server and web server gives a JDBC connection pool. So we no need to worry about connection object and 
creating connection pool we just call to web server and web server gives us to connection object that means we are directly connected to database software so this is the feature of type 3 jdbc driver we are directly connected to database software but advantage and disadvantage both are there advantage is that uh, our java application become uh, performance is very high because of we are directing connected to database and we can take all advantage of JDC, JDBC connection pool and we can control this JDBC connection pool like that we can uh, initialize and we can set size of uh, JDBC connection objects so these are the advantage are there and too much advantage but some problem disadvantage is also there because of we are using web server and web server is the heavy uh, heavy for our heavy software and if we are using java in our java application using type 3 jdbc driver so automatically our java application become a heavy software so that's why uh, some advantage and disadvantage also there and uh, uh, if for solving this problem we have type 4 jdbc driver and uh, type 4 jdbc driver are called native protocol driver so native protocol driver it means it directly connect with database software so here we no need to about no need to take support of web server no need to take support of odbc no need to uh, take support of native api jdbc driver type 4 jdbc driver can directly connect with database so here uh, we are not using web server so that's why our java application become lightweight so this is the benefit of type 4 jdbc driver and these are the uh, our four type uh, type of jdbc drivers we have four type of jdbc drivers first one is jdbc odbc bridge driver second one is native library uh, this is native driver native api driver and uh, third one is net protocol driver and fourth one is native protocol driver and uh, we have one extra type uh, type 5 jdbc driver but it's not official because of key, uh, this uh, this uh, type 5 jdbc driver gives too much high performance but uh, main thing is that it seems like a jdbc type 4 driver so this is similar too much similar and our type is based on architecture if architecture is same so we can't take this is a fifth type of jdbc driver so we can use industry this is a industry standard jdbc driver but we can't say this is a type 5 and official it's not official it's non-official but uh, this is also using an industry so these are the our type of jdbc drivers and uh, now this is the end of video bye bye uh, happy coding <laughs>